Hey guys, it's Matt VidPro AI, and welcome back to another video. This one's gonna be a little bit of a short one today. I've got some other videos for this channel that I am also working on at this moment in time. So today's video is just a little update video for you guys on Dolly. And it's always exciting when we get an update on Dolly 2. This one honestly was pretty unexpected. I wasn't expecting this. Dolly 2 now officially allows you to upload photorealistic faces for variations or in painting, whatever you want, basically, which is very exciting because now we can do in painting with images of your friends, for example, or you can put different hats or different clothing options on you or turn yourself probably into an octopus monster if you would so happen to like to do that. So yeah, this is a very exciting and it really definitely adds a lot of capability to Dolly 2 that we haven't seen before and a lot of realistic use case to Dolly 2. However, it's important to note that the content policy of Dolly 2 has not changed. So you can't be uploading images you don't own if they're photorealistic faces. You're not allowed to be uploading any kind of political stuff or trying to generate any kind of political campaign stuff that's still not allowed as well. And you're not allowed to upload any photos of people without their consent. So yes, you're just sort of allowed to do it now. They say this is because their filters and everything have gotten a lot more advanced at processing and filtering out nudity or, you know, political content, stuff like that. So now they say it is safe for you to upload photorealistic people, but Dolly or OpenAI, might I ask, when is it going to be safe for you guys to just make this thing public already? I know I've heard that apparently now it's getting really easy to get into Dolly 2. I've heard from sources on my Discord server that people are only waiting one or two days to get access now, but why not just make it fully public if that's the case? Anyways, guys, let's get into exploring this new feature and i have done a little bit of testing which i'll show you right now this is an edited image of my friend sleeping with the lobsters i put another one of my friends on a pirate ship over here and it gave him weird hair lots of fun stuff like sleeping on the train tracks as well i want to generate a variation of my face i think that would be fun see some creepy versions of myself i'm gonna go ahead and take a photo of myself Wow, very, very nice picture. Now, let's go ahead and see what Dolly thinks of this image. All right, it's doing the same framing here. We'll just do that, and we'll crop it out, and then generate variations of this image. Very excited here to see what we get for our output. Okay, that is horrifying. I'm not gonna lie, this is so... This is scary, man. I, like... Obviously, this is the most detailed and best looking image out of the bunch, but I mean, it got the chair and, you know, the sweatshirt part of it. It kind of, I guess, is this what I look like? I don't really look, <laughs> these look so foreign and horrifying. Also, what's interesting now is when we do variations, we're getting four images here, not three. If you guys remember when we used to do variations, we would only get three images outputted, but now we get all four, which is nice. These are horrifying. He just looks like he's. He looks very excited, I'll, I'll say that much, but yeah, he doesn't look like he's from this earth. He looks like you've made a copy of a copy of a copy of a human being and he looks cloned. And yeah, yeah, it looks like you took me and then you cloned me like 50 times and now you're getting this guy who pops out and he's like, Bleh, boo, I'm Matt. And yeah, you can't, you wouldn't be able to trust him to make any AI videos. Yeah, that's, this is horrifying. This is horrific on many, many different scales and levels, but we're allowed to do it now. <laughs> okay, well, that, that was fun. Let's go take this image and do some in-painting here. Let's go put me on the moon. We'll, we'll do that just as a fun little example here. We'll erase all of this background. Portrait of a guy on the moon. And then we'll click generate here. And now it will in-paint my face. So it looks like I am now on the moon. Okay, it's just putting me on different locations now. It's not really picking up what I'm putting down. But yeah, it's interesting to see that I am being moved around to different <laughs> locations. Surface of the moon. Okay, I mean, this is sort of working now. I'm not really doing a very good job putting a prompt in for this to get the output we're really looking for. 
But I mean, I guess, yeah, we can see my guy is now in space. We see a little bit of the moon and some moo text over there. This one, I don't know, it just put me in another house. This one's actually extraordinarily similar to this. That is so interesting. Look how similar these two images are. That is something that you don't see often. This one's also very similar. We've got like two colliding moons in the background here or something. And I am just loving every second of it. So very interesting there cool stuff indeed all right now we're going to go into the dolly editor here and upload an image of myself this is a photo it's not very high res geez this is a photo of myself wearing a shirt that says i really like geology we're going to try a few different things with this image let's just try to generally outpaint it because that's another thing is you can now take images of human faces and photorealistic faces and just outpaint them in general use all of the regular dolly features, so let's just outpaint this. If you're wondering about the context of me wearing a shirt that says I really like geology, trust me, it's not really worth finding out uh, why I'm wearing that shirt. We'll just do a really simple prompt here and let Dolly go wild with whatever it thinks my room is supposed to look like. There we go. Wow, that actually did a shockingly good job there, especially with my arm and the rest of my hand there. That looks really, really good. Let's see other variations. Yeah, it's trying to add doors and stuff into it. It's trying to figure out what all of this looks like. Wow, very, very interesting. I like the pink curtains over here. Very, very cool stuff. But yeah, it did a really good job completing like the rest of my arm and stuff. That's actually very impressive. And, you know, the rest of the wall and everything looks like it did a pretty decent job there. Let's continue to see if it <laughs> can continue my room. Oh, I'm just very interested now. Okay, my arm just gets bigger and bigger here. It is really extending out far. I want to see, I guess we'll say photo of a guy's hand. And we'll see if it can give me a hand. I have a feeling this is going to look really warped and disoriented. Oh my god, it just gets longer and longer. Oh my god, it's getting really dis- <laughs> Oh my god. That is, that is genuinely horrifying. That is the scariest thing I've seen in a long time there. Yeah, there you go. That's that's what the rest of my arm looks like, guys. I know you haven't seen them yet, really, but yeah, that's what that's what my arm actually looks like. Well, moving on here, I'm going to erase some of this. Let's actually try, you know, what a lot of people will want to use this for is replacing different types of clothing. So I'm going to erase my shirt here and we will change it to we'll we'll just do like a golden suit. That sounds very interesting. If you guys are wondering, I actually have worn this geology shirt before in a video. And uh, no one actually really picked up on what it said. You could probably figure it out if you went back and watched the video, but yep. We'll just erase all of this right here. Try to get some of the fine details. You know, the better of an erasing job you do, typically the better the outpainting job will be. Photo of a guy wearing a brilliant golden sparkling custom suit. Let's see if it can pick up on the context here and change my clothing. Wow, okay, it's definitely doing something. That's, there we go. That's not so bad. It's totally trying to change up my clothes. That one's also not so bad. It thought this was a mirror selfie too. It gave me a phone in my hand. Very interesting. This one's not so bad. You like change it. So I'm doing like a, hey, what's up kind of a thing. This one's probably my favorite. It's just like a solid golden shirt. That is hilarious. Wow. Okay. I wonder if it can make me a, a larger person. That is the next thing I want to test out here. We'll just erase all of this and we'll keep like my neck in here. We're going to do a man octopus hybrid. Yeah, this is going to be this is going to be a scary one. Let's see if it. Oh, crap. I just wasted a credit accidentally doing the sparkling suit thing again. OK, well, it actually worked out pretty decently. Now we're wearing the more sparkling suits here, although my body shape now looks like a Vector from a Despicable Me, which is very interesting. They just made my body so small. I want to be an octopus person. Okay, it's just giving me a shirt with an octopus on it. Okay, I'm just holding up like an octopus. It's giving me tattoos now. Oh my gosh, I looked, I look ripped with my tattoos. And then I'm just sort of like, oh, with an octopus floating in front of me. Interesting that it didn't try to convert me into an octopus. It does not want to do that. I think there's too much like context of the room and stuff. We're going to erase all of this. So it's just my head now. There we go. Can we get can we get the octopus man? OK, it's just giving me like, uh, hey, it's a selfie with a weird octopus. Like, OK, all right, we're getting a little bit closer. This is very, very scary and weird. Confusing. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm floating in the water with the with the octopuses. How nice. Okay, wow, that actually looks shockingly like real though. 
Like, that's kind of like what my arms look like. Very interesting. Still won't make me into an octopus person. I guess this is the closest we got. Weird. All right. Well, we tried. We tried. Finally, we'll do a lemon prompt. Photo of a man sitting in an ocean of lemons. Okay, yeah, this is this is something that I would do in real life. I've just got piles of lemons everywhere. There we go. I'm <laughs> just like squatting, squatting down in the lemon piles, like in the middle of the desert, which is hilarious. Next one. Yeah, this is this is what it looks like when I'm trying to go to sleep. I assume this is a bed. I just got a pile of lemons in front of me. And yeah, this is pretty close to it. I'm literally inside a giant lemon and there's just nothing but lemons behind me. Yeah, these are all pretty great. This one looks like I'm about to eat all the lemons, and this one's like I'm literally just in the lemon bath. Very nice. So yeah, the new feature is very, very fun to mess around with. If you guys have dolly access, I highly suggest that you go give this one a shot because it is tons of fun to mess around with, and I hereby give you guys the full right to use me and whatever creations you want. If you just want to screenshot random images of me from videos, you're more than welcome to put me in weird and wacky situations and send them in my Discord server, because I would love to see those. So yeah, everyone, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.